Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Golden Hurricanes and the Owls are on the field as we take a live look at the final moments before kickoff. Everybody's getting loose. Fans starting to fill the stadium in the battle for the Williams Trophy. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. which is a multi-sport award also encompassing volleyball and basketball, is on the line when these two schools lock horns. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. Cohen has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. Fielded at the nine. He's out to the 30. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really good. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. About four yards there. That'll bring up fourth and one. Patterson is waiting for the snap. And he's taken down at the 23. Tulsa's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. The cavalry's coming. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 30. The quarterback was just lucky to get that pass off. He was under a lot of pressure in the pocket. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Makes the grab and out of bounds. Rodriguez gains about four yards there. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Long hits it on the inside. Tackles at the 33-yard line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, 
When the film study yeah, starts to come like around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Grigsby fields it at the 39. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. They get him in the backfield for a loss. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. So it's second and 14. Ball on their own 46. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He's tackled around the 41 yard line. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Pressure and brought down. And now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Fires that quickly incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Patterson awaits the snap. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. And down he goes, right around the 40. He's taken down at the 50 yard line. to about the 44-yard line. That brings up second and nine. We've played one quarter. 
Still no score. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Loss of three yards. That brings up third and 12. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Pulls it in, and he could score. And he shoved out of bounds at the 14-yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. He's got an opening. Brought down at the six-yard line. That makes it second and two. four-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. And he's taken down around the eight-yard line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. This should be an easy field goal. Tulsa is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it is good. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Bulldogs entered today's game ranked ninth in the country and with an opportunity to move even higher. And for North Texas, they're in danger of dumping their third straight game. Georgia's on top, 14-7. Reese, 3-0 here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From the seven. Gets to about the 27-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. Makes it out to about the 40. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. out to around the 28. That makes it first and 10. He'll get it again. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 18. That's a team of 10. First and 10. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18. Inside the 10. The five. Touchdown, Rice. And he 
adds the extra point. So a seven play, 74 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Cross from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Tulsa's going to take their first time out of the half. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And you've got the experience that this safety has. You can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage. Under heavy pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's level at the 43-yard line. And he throws right away. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. from the 34-yard line. First down. He sails it long. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 71-yard drive. And the result, seven points. The score now, 10-7. Cohen has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From the eight-yard line, he's out to the 30. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 38-yard line. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. Joseph picks up about four yards after pulling the ball down and scrambling there. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 42. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Throws it in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 45. That's a gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Tackle around the 30-yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. Quick throw. Touchdown, Owls. <laughs> Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. Boy, that was an easy throw for the quarterback. Had to be a mistake of some kind or miscommunication by the defense in that secondary. But the quarterback finds is a receiver wide open for the touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Long's performance here in the first half is just not what we're used to seeing. And I think right now everybody's kind of looking around in that huddle saying, Who's going to help the cause? Because he's not getting it done. Not at all. And th this is really where you find out what this offense as a group is made out of. It's one thing on a week to rely on your star running back when he's having a great game. But he's off. 
who can step up. You know, if I'm the quarterback of this offense, I'm looking around, I'm challenging some of the other guys in that huddle to take some of the heat off of this running back. Now, you never know, he could catch fire in the second half, but at this point, they need to make some kind of adjustment. Looks to his receiver, first down. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 41. One minute left in the first half. Can't shake the defense. Tulsa's going to have to use their second time out of the half. <laughs> Rifles at right. Inside the 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. That's a big time catch by the receiver. And, you know, you look at the defense down there, they're frustrated and they should be. They did about all they could there. Just the receiver made a great play for the touchdown. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. To review, review the, the play, play, the ruling, ruling on, on the, the field, field stands. stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. Tulsa holds just a two-point lead. He makes the PAT. A five-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Gathered in at the six. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 33-yard line. Rice's offense struggled in that first quarter, but, man, they've really come to life here in quarter number two. Well, they've hit their stride here offensively. If they could just have their own defense try to come up with a stop or two, they'd have the lead right now. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. Picks up about nine on the scramble. Rice will have one timeout remaining. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Now he tries to buy some time, and they get the sack. Great penetration to get in there and sack the quarterback. When you talk about a dominant lineman, this is the kind of guy you're talking about. He's got two sacks today. He can bring constant pressure. Really just a nightmare for the big boys up front. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes to the 37-yard line. And that brings up fourth down. Great stop by the defense. They played with tremendous character on those downs. Patterson is waiting for the snap. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He wants it all. Can't connect. 
So at the end of the half, Tulsa leads it 17-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Mr. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He'll return it from the three. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Tulsa holds a field goal lead. He's taken down at the 28. That's good for the 82 yards. That makes it 7 and 8. There's a strike complete. Brought down at about the 35. for the first and he stopped. No game. That'll bring up fourth and one. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Grigsby. He'll take the 29. He's tackled at the 40. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49-yard line. That brings up second and one. run and he's brought down this is so difficult to defend well, this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option and it was perfect enough to get the first right there and he tackles him hard at the 33 gain of 11 yards first down check 26 check 26 Makes it to the 21. That's a deal of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Larry, Larry. Here's an opening. Slides down. Slides on the play. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Let's go, D. Let's go. Run 
Sends it right. Nice pickup. Gain of five yards. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he's taken down right around the eight-yard line. can already taste the lead. He passes it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Rice is down three and looking to tie it up. The kick is up, and he got it. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Aggies roll into today's game ranked number three in the country. And for Texas A&M, they're looking to win two in a row. And for James, he's caught one for a touchdown. Texas A&M leads it 14-0. Middle of the first quarter. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at 17 here. Jacobs is lined up to kick this one off. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. But somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 30. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. We'll miss the tackle at the 31-yard line. Third down. Zips it left. Nice grab on the play. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 37. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. From the 40-yard line, second down. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down to the ground. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Tulsa! And he adds the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, we keep your finger on the pulse of the top ten. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Texas A&M, they're looking to win two in a row. The Aggies are on top, 14-3. The one touchdown ball game race, 24-17 here. Cohen has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Caught at the eight. 
He's taken down at the 31. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play can win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And now he's got room to run. Makes it to the 44. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And they make the stop at the 35. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, Tulsa leads it 24-17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. He might not be able to get the pass off. Tackle at the 22. Hard again at 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. He launches one for the end zone. Second and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. That's a great tackle at the 21-yard line. Incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up. And he's got it. Rice to kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Brad, with this offense having the lead, you know they're going to work some clock. You know they're probably going to be conservative. This is a good opportunity for this defense to take some chances, pin their ears back, try to get aggressive, and try to get the football back. And they get nice yardage on that run. Long comes away with five yards on the carry. That brings him second and five. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He goes down at the 35 yard line. Tulsa is up by four. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. No game. That makes it 
You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's tackling around the 29-yard line. That brings up second and nine. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Delay of game. game. Offense. And the coach doesn't look very happy yes, after that call. Well, you only help out the defense when you don't get the playoff in time. You're essentially just giving away free yardage. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 24. He scrambled. Dives for extra yardage. And he got about six on that little scramble. Five wide. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. should do it a fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game great stand by the defense and they get it back for their offense well the offense looked like they wanted to bounce the ball to the outside but this defense just has too much speed they did a good job of shutting off the edge and preventing the ball carrier from getting to the first down and down he goes at the 23 yard line the halfback picks up a yard rice is going to use their first time out of the half here from the 23-yard line. Second down. Under a minute left. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Long gets about four yards on the play. Rice is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. They'll line it up for the field goal.
Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Williams takes it from the six. Brought down at the 36-yard line. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Steps up, wants to go long, and does. Uh, oh, and he can't hold on. That makes it second and ten. Hey, left, man, left. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Offense lines up in a five-wide set, and a defense anticipating pass here. He's going to go for the home run. Missed him. They're going to have to be more successful throwing the football. You can't gain solid yardage if the defense isn't concerned about the passing game. They're going to end up crowding the line of scrimmage, expecting a run on every down. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. Red two. Stop. And here's a quick throw. Brought down at the 34. Kill, kill. At the two. Stops the clock with a spike. Second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 34. Quick release. Tight end. Incomplete. And he's got room here. He's taken down at the 24. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 27-20, Tulsa. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.